What up guys, Teach FM here and welcome back to the Fergie Way. In today's episode, we have got two games, both live comms, against two of the Premier League's big titans. We've got Arsenal away from home at the Emirates, followed by Chelsea away from home at the Bridge. These are two games that although we've won the league, we could really take a kick in today. So, let's see how we get on. First of all, we only have one real bit of news today, guys, and it is that Daily Blind, as expected, have, was handed a further two-game ban. So it's, it's obviously unlikely that he'll not be seeing any more of the Premier League this season. We do, of course, have the Europa League final against Southampton, in which, of course, I will try and fit him in based on the fact that Luke Shaw is probably going to be cream crackered. Only one game to tell you about since the last episode, and that was Bournemouth away from home. As you can see, a 1-1 draw, in which, of course, we want Martial to try and nick these extra few goals during the Premier League, just to try and get him topping that goal scorer table. But with Memphis to pound the pitch, it seems to be a hard task to do. I started Memphis because he's not been getting much game time, of course, came on the last 10 minutes in the previous episode, and was on fire, and led that form into, today, into the Bournemouth game. Scored in the first few minutes. And then we were shite throughout, ended as a ball, 1-1 one, one draw, enough said about that. So one thing I do want to do before we get stuck into the live comms is take a look at the Premier League table, because of course playing Arsenal and Chelsea, both of them might be chasing different things. Now Arsenal can't be caught in second, and to be honest, Chelsea can't move any higher up than seventh, but they will be looking to try and stave off a bit of an attack from Liverpool to try and keep that seventh place, place position. As we look at the goal scoring charts now, Martial has yet more competition. Harry Kane, Vardy and Callum Wilson all sat on 25 and as we know Martial is sat on 24. Now he did have an absolute stinker against Bournemouth, didn't have the best games, didn't really play well. So we are hoping he's going to come out all guns blazing today in the live comms. But of course two away fixtures against Arsenal and Chelsea his chances are going to be few and far between and we've just got to hope he takes them when they come his way. As we can see across the player stats here, guys, Memphis Depay, you know, player of the match, seven games, Memphis Depay, average rating, top of the board. And then, of course, Martial's Latin and Juan Mata, all at the top on the assist with De Gea with the most clean sheets, which would be expected with our record-breaking 30 wins this Premier League season. So on that note, guys, what we'll do is we'll see you on match day. We'll see what teams were selected and we'll go to the Emirates to play Arsenal. Here we are at the Emirates, guys. Of course, guys, with a top of the table clash. Not that Arsenal can catch us just now, but of course, a top of the table clash nonetheless. The media can't split us. However, the bookies have given us slight favourite, which is handy. Uh, Arsenal's key man being Alexis Sanchez, which is no surprise, and our key man being Martial. And we'll take a look at the team lineup then. So we'll start with Arsenal. They've got Petr Cech in net with Nacho Monreal on left back, Gabriel and Murta Saka in centre backs, and they've got Hector Bellerin playing right back. Granit Xhaka, Santi Carzola sat in the middle with Alexis Sanchez out left, Fekir playing out right, Meza also playing behind Lucas. And on to the United team now. We got De Gea in the sticks. Luke Shaw playing left back. We have Bailly and Small and his partnership in the middle with Damian out right. And in an odd move, due to injuries more than anything and the fact that I wanted to field the strongest team possible in this game, I've got Mkhitaryan playing the advanced playmaker role, which is somewhere where I've honestly not played him there all season. Matt has filled in there a couple of times when he's had to or when I've been trying to get him fit, but Mkhitaryan hasn't. We have Herrera playing the central defensive midfielder and we have Fosu Menza giving the central midfield support. Juan Mata's playing a Trecatista role where I do expect him to shine. This is his first full game back, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. And then we have Zlatan Ibrahimovic ahead of Mata and Martial ahead of him. Hopefully Martial can grab some goals in this just to try and get him that little confidence boost boosting award at the end of the season. But only time will tell, guys. So we'll go on have a look at what Kino has to say, of course. There will be hard tackling. He's not the biggest fan of Arsenal for obvious reasons for anyone who remembers Roy and any of his time at Arsenal when we were playing against them. Always had a little bit of a dig here and there, in particular against Patrick Vieira. And on to the team talk now. This one is for the fans. We've already won the Premier League. We're going to attempt to go out and, yeah, nice one. Motivated. No, not a chance. Right, we'll try and uh, just fudge it a little bit. Uh, we, we've got faith. Oh, all of a sudden you're looking happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
midfield aren't doing. And we have faith in the defence to make a difference as well. That'll do for now. We'll start the game. We are, of course, running on only the key highlights. We do have two live comms today. And we will see how we get on. So 10 minutes in, guys. Not really much to talk about. We have got the possession, but both teams have had one shot each. Not been a single highlight yet. Here's the first one. As Mata crosses it into Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan's back out to Mata. Mkhitaryan on the edge to Fosu Mensa. Fekir strips it off Fosu Mensa and it looks like Arsenal will try and counter if it wasn't for Fekir giving the ball away to Smalling. We work it all the way back to De Gea, which I know everybody likes to see the ball going all the way back to the keeper. And it comes forward now via Mkhitaryan. Martial has got two defenders on him. He'll play it out to Shaw. Shaw crosses Mata at the near post and it comes back off the post. That was a close one. Might go down as a clear cut, which will only wind me up. Wasn't a clear cut chance, so I do feel a little bit better, guys. We are heading into the 25th minute. We've got 60% possession, but as we know, possession does not guarantee you goals. So we need the guys to really press on here as De Gea is on the ball. Gives it to Shaw. Shaw down to Martial. Martial plays Mata to Foster Menza. Ibra playing it across. <sighs> Bellerin, the guy I've been scouting all season, snatches the ball from the clutches of Martial. Martial now, Martial, get in there, that's what we want, we want Martial bagging these goals, it's his 28th goal of the season, which might not sound meteoric, but we are playing with four strikers in two striking positions, so although he's played a lot of games, he doesn't start every game, Martial there, right foot finish, just on the edge of the area, Petr Cech had no chance, it's 1-0 United, so yeah, we play, we play with two strikers, but with four people vying for the spots, he's not exactly been guaranteed an automatic start, so 28 goals, is a fantastic haul. I'm chuffed to bits as Mkhitaryan makes it 2-0. These games, it's, it's a bit odd doing this live com. I wasn't 100% sure whether I was even going to bother as we'd already won the league. We'll just see this here. It's Fossum Menza as he crosses it in. And Mkhitaryan, near post goal. We see so many near post goals on FM17. It's unbelievable. Um, <clears throat> so I wasn't really sure whether I was going to live com these two games. Of course, we'd already won the Premier League in the last episode. And it almost felt, well, like a bit of a waste. Um, but in light of the fact that it was both away ties against two of the sort of Premier League big boys, I couldn't not play it. More to the point because it's been such a dominating season, I could have gone ahead and lost these two games. And I think we need to see the losses if the lo losses happen, which of course it doesn't like it's going to win this game. So we will tell the guys to go out there and prove a point. Once again, I get absolutely fuck all. It's like I went into the dressing room, started to talk to them and they all just started whistling and looking round. So once again, have faith, get the greens up. We're all here for the green. Morale manager at its best and we managed to turn it round. So it's Lucas now. <laughs> He's forced to save from De Gea. Arsenal are starting to try and mount attacks here. They're not doing too bad. It's Ozil. Crosses it in, it's cleared back out, but only as far as Ozil. And Eric Bailly picks up the ball. Gives a needless clearance, really. Had men around him, we could have played it out of the box a bit there. Either way, comes to nothing, still 2-0. Fakir now, crosses it, he was looking for Mertesacker. He's nodded back, it's Lucas now. Found the Lexus, loads of space, he was never going to miss. He has been on fire for Arsenal this season. Great finish, outside the area. Good ball by Lucas, spots how much space he had there, sucks it down with one touch, leathers it into the back corner. Great goal, Alexis. 2-1. Arsenal may manage to creep back in here. We will have to be relatively careful. We're heading for a record total points haul in the Premier League, so I ideally don't want to lose. I absolutely don't want to lose. Fosu Menza, we will bring on Callum Gribbin. And then we'll look at making another change around the 70th, 72nd. We'll see how it's getting on. I think Zlatan's been quiet this game, so he may see himself coming off the pitch. It's gribbing now into Ibrahimovic. Mata, uh, he tried putting Martial in. Martial wasn't on the same wavelength. The ball went too far ahead. And it looks like Arsenal will turn this into an attack, frustratingly so. It's Fekir now. Xhaka out to Hector Bellerin. Bellerin's cut inside. Let's give it to Lucas. To, oh, that was a great goal by Arsenal. 2-2, two, two. pissed off, really going to have to sort of, I'm going to have to change something here. As you can see, Bella in there, cuts inside, beats two defenders. Ah, there's not a right lot you can say about that, it wasn't getting stopped, it was a lovely flowing move by Arsenal. Need to tell these guys to concentrate, that's for sure, assertively concentrate. 
and we're in the 71st minute, so we'll look at making a change at the first stop. But, ah, Jesus Christ. Danny fucking Welbeck, of all people as well. You should know what side your bread's buttered on, sunshine. 3-2 Arsenal, and as I had fear of, these away ties, this was the whole reason I wanted to play these two games. It, it shows that, although fortunately for us we had the League 1, Maybe a couple of the toughest games of the season were not played until that league was already in our hands. We will bring on Memphis because he's been such a such a good impact player and Herrera tired as well. But I am running out of people who I can play in the middle, I'll be brutally honest. No, nope, nothing I can do about it, Herrera. You're just going to have to get tired legs, son. So Arsenal now might be trying to inflict further damage. They have done it. It's gone 4 to Arsenal and I think we can kiss three points goodbye in this one, guys. Corner from Cazorla. Welbeck once again getting involved, nodding it back. Alexis at the back post, and this has been quite a whoop. Now, Arsenal did beat us earlier on in the season as well. They knocked us out the FA Cup, so we knew that they had form and they were good enough to beat us. They've obviously let points slip this season where they shouldn't have, and they've paid the price for it with the Premier League and the title running. 88 minutes, guys. It doesn't look like we're going to get anything out of it. Walcott now, it looks like this will be the final replay as Ozil tries crossing it in and it is, it's full time guys. 4-2 loss, a little bit annoying, I'm um, certainly going to tell the guys far from pleased because they started well, you know, to throw away a two goal lead is, 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 is worse than getting beat from the outset, it shows you were in control. And you basically went and pissed it up the wall. So one thing I did want to do, guys, just briefly before we get stuck straight into the next live comp, was take another look at the Premier League to see where Chelsea is sitting and, of course, see where Martial is sitting in the goal, Sally. So we'll take a look at Chelsea first. They are going to be playing hard today because they can get caught by Liverpool. Liverpool are away to West Ham, who look like they're going to finish well. There's no look like about it. They are going to finish above both Chelsea and Liverpool. So Liverpool won't have an easy job, but nonetheless, Chelsea will want to make sure that they can put another few points distance between them. So I expect them to push hard to try and get a result against us today. And we take a look down there. And as it stands right now, Anthony Martial is level top goal scorer with both Harry Kane, Jamie Vardy, and as we know, Callum Wilson as well. So Martial has the tough task of trying to go to the bridge today and at least grabbing one goal. But maybe we'll need more we'll have to see how it goes so we'll see you on match day so match day's here at the bridge guys and the press believe that we have what it takes to secure a win against Chelsea today bookies believe the same giving us a uh, odds of evens and Chelsea out at 11 to 5 Eden Hazard being Chelsea's key man and of course Anthony Martial being ours so we go on to the lineups for today Courtois starts in net for Chelsea with Azpilicueta at left back, David Luiz, Kurt Zuma, and Leon at right back. They have Angolo Incante in the middle and Sex Fagbregas. And then they have Eden Hazard, Oscar, and William behind Diego Costa. And we go on to our team and we spot Teacher's ridiculous mistake. Like an absolute clown, I have left Damian in the centre back position because I was putting Phil Jones in there to rest Damian ready for the Europa League final. So Damian will instantly be getting brought off for Eric Bailly. Hopefully not knocking his confidence, getting subbed off in the first minute. But we will go on to the team lineup. As you can say, we've got De Gea in the sticks. We've got Luke Shaw, Damian, <laughs> idiot, Twins Arbor and Phil Jones playing right back. Phil Jones' first place in the team since, of course, is infamous, giving away of two penalties game after game. We have Emrick Mkhitaryan playing the advanced playmaker role. A first start, I'm pretty sure, this year for Carrick. Uh, it will be his last game for the club as well. So a little bit of a send-off and I'm trying to rest my midfield. And Callum Griffin playing in central midfield as well. We have Jesse Lingard playing the Trekwatista behind Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Martial. Once again, Lingard stepping in for Mata so Mata can keep himself fresh for the Europa League. And yeah, so the, the Europa League game's only two-day break in between, so... I had to make changes where I could. As we go into the OIs now, we'll see what Kick and Waller Down Kino has to say. And yeah, a bit of hard tackling here and there. Probably Willian as well, since he's a little bit lightweight. And yeah, go on to the team talk. So I am going to encourage the players to go out and prove a point here, because although it's going to be maybe not a big ask, but certainly an ask to go ahead and win this game, because of course we are away at Chelsea. It's, it's, it's not the easiest of places to go. 
What's relatively important here is we can break a record. We can end with 98 points in a Premier League season, which is some good going. So I'm hoping to get a win. We'll just have to see how we get on. So the proving of a point didn't matter a toss. We will go for the old fudge and just get them all to say, go green off passionately. I have faith in you make a difference. And it works. So let's get into the game. Needless to say, guys, the very first thing I'm going to do is correct my ridiculously stupid... You wouldn't think I've been playing football manager for 20 years, would you? Unfucking believable Right, so we will bring on Eric Bailly. And yeah, so hopefully Damian will get pulled out of the middle. He must be stood in there like a rabbit in headlights at the minute, thinking, what the fuck is that manager doing like? Anyway, so there we go then. Damian's off the field, the poor lamb. We can finally press on with what should be an okay game, but Chelsea are destroying us for possession in the first nine and a half, ten minutes. Phil Jones giving away a free kick, unsurprisingly. He's not learning his lesson. And Diego Costa, saved by David De Gea. Thought Diego Costa was going to put them ahead then, but fortunately he's not done. We've got a Lyon corner. Lyon back on the boards, crossed it into Fabregas and he knocks it into De Gea. We've not registered a shot yet, guys, which is not like us in the least. We are playing a... Odd ball team with players playing out of position, but nonetheless, I would have expected we'd be able to do a bit of something by now. It's Lingard to Ibrahimovic, breaks past one defender, obviously blistering pace at the ripe edge of 36, but he gets the ball into Mkhitaryan. He gives us that one goal. We are looking for Martial to score today, but we will take that from Mkhitaryan. So as we can see there, the spring chicken that is Latin Ibrahimovic, great turn of pace, pushes himself out wide, low, low cross once again, near post. Mkhitaryan catches it. It's 1-0 to the good in a game where, although we are pushing for Martial here, regardless of win is going to break records. And we like to break records at United, so we'll go with that. Now the question is, will Chelsea respond? They are playing a very strong team. And I would expect them to try and bring something to us. They've started the game very well. But it's Gribbin now. He's had the ball took off by no surprises. And Golo and Kante, of course, the way he intercepted the ball last season in real life was just unbelievable. Hence why Chelsea bought him. It's Lingard now. Only as far as Luis so and Twins Arbor. Cuts the ball out from Luis, but it's back with Hazard. Hazard plays it to William. William looks for Leon. He's doing the overlapping run. It's crossed. It's William at the near post. And it is 1-1. One, one. So as we've seen, William giving him, almost giving the key pass out to Leon. Gets the ball back. Once again, a near post goal. How De Gea, I mean, it looked like it went through De Gea's hand. I thought these patches were meant to sort the goalkeepers out, not make them worse. It looks like we're going to go into the halftime break. 1-1, one, one, guys. It was very drab following the final highlight. We've probably just had 20 minutes of nothingness. I'm not going to tell them to go out there and prove a point because it fell on deaf ears at the beginning of the game. I am going to tell them that I'm far from pleased because that usually fires them up. Yeah, we've got greens everywhere. You know, seeing these guys now, obviously we've got some superb morale in Damian, which is handy considering he got took off in the first minute. But I don't like seeing the team using fairly good and good as a morale status. I like to see very good and superb. So let's hope that they can press on and get a result for nothing else than to run into the Southampton game with a little bit more morale under the belts. So we're heading into the 60th, guys, and we have got a little bit more of the game, but I do have the sneaky suspicion that it's going to be Chelsea who are going to be leaving here the happier team. If we take a look here, Luke Shaw's a little bit tired. We're not necessarily going to need him. We do have Daley Blind who can play left back in the in the coming game, so I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, Zlatan's playing okay. I can't take Martial off. I wonder... The impact player that is Memphis Depay. I wonder whether he can just lay a little something on a, on a plate there for, for Martial to take. Because failing that, Martial will unlikely be walking away with the top goalscorer award. So we'll see how we get on. It's Luke Shaw now to Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan's charging on up. Mkhitaryan to, Martial looked like he got brought down, but the referee must have waved it on. It's Twins Arby now, and that's the end of the replay. Nothing worse when you think you're going to get something. And the key highlight goes to nothing. Heading towards the 80th minute, guys. And you could not split these teams. The stats are almost identical all the way down the board. I feel someone's going to nick a late one here. But the question is who? I want it to be us. And more importantly, I want it to be Martial to stand any chance whatsoever. But we are heading into the final three minutes. There's got to be a replay sometime around now. Or we will not be seeing a goal, I fear. This might be the chance, guys. But who's it going to fall to? It's Kante. It looks like it's going to fall to Chelsea as Hazard. Plays the ball back to Leon, who's switching sides. It's Matic. Leon. 
Lyons played it forward. Now we have cut it out. It's Martial now. Martial will look to move forward. Keep moving, Martial. Oh, he's had the ball took off him. He's had it took off him. That might be it, guys. That might be about as far as we were getting there. It's Kante now. Kante plays it forward to Tunzaba. It's Mata to Martial. Memphis was trying to break the line there. Carry on, Martial. It's almost as though he knows he's chasing it because normally Martial wouldn't take shots from back there. What the fluff was Courtois doing? That was crackers. It's like he just put the ball down and then hoofed it out. Mikateri. Now we have forced a corner. We're into the final minute now. Come on. Mata. He's crossed it in. Twins are bit. Oh, it's pushed out only as far as Jones, though. Jones will play to Mikatarian. Mikatarian turns and shoots, and it's got Matic now. It's going to be pressed out. 20 seconds of the game left. I'm not sure we can even mount an attack now as Mata heads for the corner. And unless it's all stayed even. Oh, Pedro now. Pedro might sink one past us in the eyes offside. That'll be it, guys. Final game of the Premier League season. All we can do is wait and see whether Martial managed to come away with the award. So we will go through a few of the little news articles that happen after the well, the Premier League is over. Man United have been given £37.19 million for achieving first place in the Premier League. Great for the club. Might even give us a bit more transfer budget. But we'll see how we get on. And there we have it, guys. Jamie Vardy carrying on his form two seasons on the bounce. He managed to score a goal in the final game. He's ended with 26. Martial ends on 25 goals. I'm happy with the strike force. The whole strike force did very well this season. There was a very even share behind the goals, obviously. Surprise package being Memphis Depay, who was pipped to player of the match at the end, but did manage to keep the average rating. A great, great effort by all of them. You've got to be happy with that. With regards to the way the season closes, what I will probably do, because we're only going to have one live come in the next episode... Uh, when we come back, I will go through any news items and the season awards and, and, and all the other sort of stuff that happens in the next episode. And yeah, that was that. If you have enjoyed the episode, guys, please, please, please hit the like button. It helps the channel out so much. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with all the videos that get released. I am, of course, releasing a video every day. So... Yeah, any support would be a great help. You can get hold of me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. You get more information there. And as we are closing the season down, if you guys feel I should be carrying this on, starting a new save, or if you have any transfer suggestions with that whopping budget that we have for next year, do chuck them down in the comments. And on that note, guys, thanks for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. See you later.